Star. Alright, fellow YouTube, it's Kevin Craig, Double Toys with Two, here to show you a review on the GameStop exclusive Kratos Bronze Edition. As you can see on the front of the box, there's a nice picture of Kratos, it says exclusive downloadable content included inside. It's a PlayStation official, official licensed product, and here you can see a nice little window box effect of Kratos and Bronze. Looks very nice, and of course, it says GameStop exclusive. So let's look at the rest of the box. Here at the top, you can see it says God of War Ascension, so it's from that game. And here on the left side it says, before he was a god, he was a man. With a very nice picture of what we're getting. Kratos looks very nice. Very good. On the other side it says, Kratos Bronze Edition. And it shows him from a different angle. Still looking very cool. I love the effects they did on the back of the box too. Alright, and here on the back of the box it says, Vengeance is born in the fires of betrayal. In the prequel of the best-selling God of War franchise. Six months have passed since Kratos stood over the bodies of his wife and children. And his hands stained with their blood. Tricked by Ares into murdering the only people he ever loved. Swearing to avenge Kratos broke the blood oath that bound him Ares. But oaths of the Olympus are not so easily broken. Sentenced to an eternity chain within a prison for the living damned. Kratos battles insanity at the hands of the... Furies. He will be tested as he seeks freedom, redemption for his sins, and this clarity to avenge his family. And here it says, Gaming Heads is proud to present our God of War Ascension Kratos statue, complete with the fox bronze finish. Here on the bottom says, God of War Ascension. And here it says, Exclusive downloadable content inside. Download your exclusive Kratos avatar for use on PlayStation Network. Yes! And nothing really on the bottom. So that's a quick look at the box, and now let's look at the actual statue. Alright, and here's the Ascension's Kratos statue. It's really cool. I do like it. And yes, it does look like copper. This is not actually like bronze or copper. It feels like a plastic. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not that much. Like it's not really heavy like it was die cast, but it's really cool. I love the detail in it. Now let's take a closer look at it. His face came out pretty good. They kind of nailed the scar. I do like the little exit there. It's the same color all the way around. A little bit of detail is engraved on even the goatee. I do like how they gave him his nose. That's the intense look he usually has. Mine does have a slight little scrape right here, but it doesn't look that bad. But I do like how that came out. Definition on the back looks really good. It looks a little gritty, a little dirty, like he's been going through it and he's been in battle. And I do love how they did the chains. The chains look very detailed, and I do like how they did the dustles. You can even see a little bit of bone structure in there around the knuckles. Looks really cool. And as you get to the weapon, they did an awesome job with it. You can see how... You can see the cracks and all the things that it's been through, but it still looks very cool. As you can see, they gave him a pretty ripped chest, and I do also like the design that they did on the belt here. The belt looks very nice, very nicely done with the hieroglyphics, I think I'm saying right, but those look very cool. And they do go completely around. As you can see, they did a lot of detail on the actual patterns on the back of this. I guess you would say skirt or kilt. It looks very good. I do like how it comes back around and you can see the wrinkles in here. One thing that's really cool about this is that it actually is the only thing that's not solid. It actually can move. So this skirt that goes completely around, it can move pretty much. If you need the skirt, they do have it where he's wearing, wearing kind of like bandages. So those look pretty cool too. So no upskirts for Kratos. Now one thing that stands out to me is the detail they did on the shin guards here that he's wearing. Those look very good. Even his feet look very detailed. So they did an awesome job on that. And the other foot was done just as good and it looks good just as at a different angle. The base he's actually on looks really cool too. I do like that it has like kind of the same color of copper or bronze look. Except for you can tell it's a slight difference. They did do a lot of shading around the creases of the rocks. So they do look good and his feet are planted there and cannot move. Overall, they chose a very nice stance for him. This is just how you would expect Kratos to be. Looks very good. Looks like he's about to mess something up. He's just waiting for you to press the circle button. But this figure did come out very nicely. It does entail everything you would expect from Kratos. And it looks just as extreme as if it was an articulated figure. So overall, I am very impressed with this statue. It has a lot of detail. It looks very nice. They nailed it from everything to the chains, to the skirt, to the sandals. And I also do like the base that he's on. So it looks very nice, easy to stand up, great display item. And if you're a fan of Kratos, I would pick it up. So this has been a review by Caleb Craig, Deadpool Toys 1-2 of the Ascension, so Ascension Kratos statue. Y'all have a good one. Bye. I am the God of War.